there, beautiful people, and welcome back. So today, we're going to be doing a mm, collective haul. I feel like I've bought a lot of things over the past probably month or so that I just haven't kind of shared with anybody. A couple of things I want you guys to know about sooner rather than later. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing I wanted to do is one of those products where I wanted you guys to know about this sooner rather than later. They are these um, Kiss Nail Tattoos, and I got these at Walgreens the other day. Um, they were like, I think only like 2 or $3 maybe, but they're Halloween themed, and I actually have them on my nails today. Okay, focus enough. <laughs> I have a little Haunted Mansion on there, and then I've got some bats on this one. Focus. Anyways, got some bats on this one. This one I messed up a little bit, but um, I'm thoroughly impressed with these. They're really super user friendly. All you have to do, take the plastic off, pop it on your nail. I used a wet paper towel. 20 seconds, boom, done. Put a top coat on, then boom, done. Anyways, super user friendly, and I like these too because my thumbnail's too wide to use any of the press-ons or any of the... Um, what are those other ones? Like the, the sticker ones. My thumbnail's too wide for them and I just feel like they never fit my nails and they never stay on. So these were like a nice alternative. That way I could have fun, festive Halloween designs and still be able to paint my nails whatever color I wanted. That's the first thing I got. The next thing I got, I'm just, we're going to go in categories. First thing, nails. Got this Sephora Formula X um, nail polish. It's orange, obviously. It's Halloween time. I just, I thought I needed an orange nail polish. The next thing I got is also from Sephora Formula X, and this is drying spray, and me and my best friend have talked about this before, like, all of the, like, hacks online, like, the do-it-yourself hacks, like, how to dry your nails faster. They have, like, ruined her manicures before, like, trying to dry them faster, so she kind of, like, jumped off all that bandwagon, but I tried this in store, and it's actually fantastic. And it says on here to let your nail color set for one to two minutes. I usually let it sit a little bit longer than that, but just take it off. It's a spray bottle. A couple sprays of this on your nails. Once it evaporates, because I think it's like an oil in here, and it kind of soaks up the... I don't, I don't know what it actually does, but it's fantastic. <laughs> and spray it on there. Like I said, once it evaporates, your nails are done. And this is going to be amazing because I used to keep myself awake for hours on end because I did not want to go to bed when your nails are like in that kind of dentable state so I would just like stay up all night just so my nails wouldn't get chipped and then they would somehow end up getting chipped anyway this will help with that immensely the next thing I got and this is just gonna be like a collection of items from Sephora from Ulta from Target from Walgreens just a couple of different things that I got the next thing I got, I've actually had this for a while. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. This is their newest primer that they've come out with. And this is silicone free, so if you're allergic to silicone, this would be great for you. Or if you just don't want silicone in your face products. And also, it's with made with coconut water, electrolytes, and probiotics. So exciting. But it's just a face primer. It comes in a little... Squeeze. It's, it's very confusing. It comes in a tube, but it's actually a little pump. Um, but anyways, I love this stuff. I think it's fantastic. It also smells like coconut, like straight up. I'll like crack a coconut open. And I feel like this is what it would smell like. And it's fantastic. And I don't know if it's this, if it's the combination of this and the products I've been using, how well I've been taking care of my skin, but my skin has never looked or felt as good in my life as it does now. Um, so I'm thoroughly impressed with this. This is fantastic for people who have, like, we're in the dry side for sure. But I definitely have combination skin, oily T-zone, and I use this every day. Um, it's definitely going to be coming more in handy since I live in Colorado and it's getting drier come wintertime. But like I said, I've been using this for like a month now. Fantastic. The next two items I got are going to be lip items. And they are from Ulta and they are from NYX. So the first one I got is Simply Vamp Lip Cream. I have this on my lips today. I also have like a reddish gloss underneath this, so if it looks a little bit red, that's probably why. But this is it. Here's my hand. Here's one swipe of it. And like I barely even glided that across my hand. This is fantastic. The pigment payoff is amazing. And a lot of times with like the 
the pencils and like the chubby sticks or whatever they're called from whatever brand they're usually more focused on being like nourishing and kind of just better for your lips and they don't have great pigment payoff this one has both it's super soft glides on super easily and that's one swipe right there like the pigment payoff is fantastic so I would highly suggest getting one of these I do actually want to go get maybe a couple other colors too and this is in a shade bewitching I didn't say that before bewitching um but yeah I do want to go get a couple more of these shades if my Ulta ever stocks their NYX products which I feel like they don't this is why I don't shop at Ulta because I never have anything but they did have this and I really like it and then the next item I got is another NYX lip product and it's the soft matte lip cream Comes with a little applicator, doe foot applicator, I guess. And, oh, pfft, as I just totally screw that up, <laughs> that's, that's one swipe pretty much. I kind of just like flicked it off my hand, but that's one swipe. It's going to be more of like a purple color. Love this. If you guys scroll down on my Instagram, <laughs> the darkest lip that I have in any of my pictures is this. And I think it was just like two applications of this. This is fantastic. These two together are going to be my go-to fall lips. I like, I joke around with people whenever they try and get me to try like new burgundy lip colors. I'm like, no, it's not dark enough. And I'm like, I want my lipstick to be, I want to say like as dark as my soul, but have you met me? My soul is not dark at all. <laughs> it's filled with like sparkles and rainbows and Anyways, these two products are fantastic. The next products I got, there are a couple more NYX products. They're from Target, and then I also have another e.l.f. product. First item is a jumbo eye pencil. Obviously, NYX is known for their jumbo eye pencils, and this is in the shade Iced Mocha. And I decided to just get this. I actually did it for a look I did the other day. If you guys want to look at my Instagram, there's like a... You'll see it. Anyway, use this, and it's just... There we go. It's just that kind of like bronzy shade right there. And I thought that this would be good for if I needed to do an eyeshadow base for like any of my... Because I have a lot of like gold and like copper pigments. I thought this would be a nice base underneath to use instead of having to use my milk one all the time. But also I just thought this was a really pretty color. And so I bought it. Next is another NYX product. And this is... Studio Liquid Liner. And I have this one in the like really deep purple shade as well but decided to get the blue one I haven't used this one yet I have used the purple one before um it's just this really pretty blue color right there I'll put this in before I spill it all over me <laughs> that's the blue color right there and I think it's coming off a little bit lighter than it is in real life it's more of like a medium electric blue color the only thing i will say about this is you're gonna have to do two coats probably because the first coat um if you try and work with it wing line or anything like that it kind of makes it a little bit more sheer than it should be so my advice is just put it on let it dry put another coat on that way it's like true color but i really like these used them before and then the final thing i got from target that day and time was this elf high definition under eye setting powder I don't know how I feel about this yet it's supposed to just be an under eye setting powder but it has like glitter in it like a iridescent kind of glitter and I don't know if it's like supposed to like brighten your eyes or what but I just don't like it like it shows up as like actual glitter on my face so I am not gonna return it it was only three dollars but I'll, I'll find a use for it at some point yeah, I've got this and then what else did I get oh next thing I want to talk about really quick is the perversion mascara I got a sample of this um it was a point perk at Sephora and I decided to try it out I have a couple of likes and dislikes about this one I like the wand it's amazing for when I have false lashes on and I want to kind of put my lashes my natural lashes like with my false lashes together I think it's really fantastic for that super black and you can build this until the cows come home because this does not um crumple up cr clump up i don't know where i was going with crumple it does not clump at all and i was kind of skeptical about that until i sat there and put three coats of mascara on but i will say this isn't for anyone who is in a hurry in the mornings 
um, who just wants to swipe on some mascara and go because you do have to build it up just because the pigments aren't there right away so you have to kind of build it up so pros and cons to um, this mascara I do really like it though I do have sensitive eyes it didn't bother me at all but my die hard mascara which I don't know why I didn't bring my it's right there I don't know why I didn't bring my tube over here but I love the Too Faced better than sex mascara holy grail have it on my eyes today I love it yeah but this is also a really good one too it just depends on what you want it for two more things Stila liquid liner, felt tip liner, amazing, love it, adore it, use it all the time. Mine finally died. So sad, but I love this. I use it all the time. It's how I get my wings. Yeah. The final thing I bought, which most of this stuff I went in knowing I kind of wanted. This is from Sephora. This is not what I was going to get next in my life, but it kind of just happened. And it is the Too Faced Everything Nice palette. And it says, that's what pretty girls are made of. But this is their holiday palette. Apparently they have a sugar and spice palette too. So it's sugar and spice palette and then everything nice palette. This is their holiday palette. I'm in love with it. I decided to buy it because it's going to sell out. I know it is. Um, but the, <laughs> I'll just show you real quick. These are the shadows in there. They are just so gorgeous. I love them. And it also comes with a blu two blushes. Two blushes, a bronzer, and a highlight. And then it comes with these brushes as well. I don't think I'll use any of them. And then, of course, the little Get the Look book back here. And I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this because I know that I will do plenty of videos to come using this palette because it is a beautiful. And... Yeah, that's about all I have to say about it. Um, I have it on my eyes today. That kind of like shimmery, iridescent green color. Is this color girly from the palette? And ah! It's just, I just love it. But anyways, this is it. Comes with this adorable little case that, mm -hmm. this does not fit in here. Don't know what they were thinking, but it doesn't fit in there. But this adorable case. So it's Too Faced on the back, and it comes with a sample size of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. <sighs> I love it. I know that when I started my channel, I was like, I'm an Urban Decay girl. Too Faced, Die Hard, everything on my face today is Too Faced minus my lips. I'm not a huge fan of their lip products. I'm sorry. I just don't like them that much. But anyways, <laughs> that is all for this video. Um, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. And I have one other thing that I bought recently, but you're going to get a video for it in the next couple of days. Get excited. <laughs> and I'm going to go because it's getting weird. And I love you guys so, so much. If you aren't already, I'd love for you to subscribe. <laughs> I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. And yeah, I love you guys. Bye.